stand up and, and like it becomes an issue for him. Um, and he's uh, he's been a total player. What is the guy like Luka Doncic? Uh, what are some of the difficulties in facing off against him? Uh, you know, he's he's got uh, a lot of different skills, you know, and I think he's going to become a heck of a shooter. And when that happens, it's going to make him quicker. Uh, he's got good ball handling set, and uh, he knows how to play. And uh, you know, he's, he's uh, I think perhaps there was an idea that there was a ceiling on him. I don't I don't see, it, unfortunately for us. But uh, he's got you know he's great for them, and uh, he's great for our league. Anything else? How helpful is it to have guys, skilled guys at the three and the four and Bogdanovich and Bielitsa? Uh, what does that do for your team? It's the lead. You know, I mean, it, it, the, the more skilled guys you can put out there, it's taking the place of size, and, and that creates the space for guys to uh, be able to uh, to make more plays with the basketball, whether that be for themselves or for other people. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a space and, and pace game. Is that something you see from more European players or just kind of a transition of the league in general? Uh, yeah, in terms I of big yeah, I wouldn't players. say no. I wouldn't say that. Okay. Thanks.